to my channel into this vlog you are seeing me without any makeup okay i want you guys to see how i look without any makeup at this point of time what is our topic our topic is all about all about what our topic is all about how to teach our kids english i will be doing this informally because I am not that kind of person who is really expert as far as English teaching is concerned. I, I am not a teacher, okay? I am not expert in English. Moreover, I will share with you the tip on how I taught my kid on how to learn English. When we say learn, I will be talking to her in English and then she can understand what, I'm, what I am talking, okay? I am giving her an English instruction. At the same time, she could abide in my command, in my errand, learning from what I have said, okay? So, let's start now. If you are interested to teach your kid on how to speak English or on how to learn English, regardless or thinking or writing. Guys, as you can see, our bedroom is filled with... Uh, Padikit, okay? Attachment which is for kids. For for my daughter to to be reminded from time to time that she needs to study. But I'm not forcing her to learn. I just um, glued it there for her. When she's in the mood, she can see those attachments, okay? For example, how to teach kids to read, okay? We started in a e e o o At the same time, she immediately learned, okay? That's really amazing, okay? I never force her to learn such things. I just post and post. I had cut out so many things and then she learned. This is our simple bedroom. <laughs> our humble bedroom. And this bedroom is really is still a classroom for my bully lit, okay? So at this point of time, I will teach you. I will give you the tip on how to teach. A but before that, I will apply lipstick. Because I feel uncomfortable talking without any lipstick. Okay? <laughs> Sorry. Okay? The only cosmetics that... I'm <laughs> sorry. The only cosmetics that I have right now is lipstick. I don't have any loose powder. Only lipstick. Okay? Lipstick. So. Now we will start. One time, I'm researching about how to speak in English just to, to, to confirm if what are really the secrets on how to teach kids English. Moreover, I have started my own way of teaching my bulilit because accordingly, teaching kids on how to speak English started when they are still young, okay? So, when my bulilit was just two years old, two months old, three months old, we started teaching them we started doing, we're already in the process of teaching our bulletin, okay? So, according to the professor, um, Professor Hag, if I'm not mistaken, he said, Do not send your children to an English school, okay? See, if you want to teach our kid, if we want to teach our kid accordingly, we should not send our kids to an English school. What is the reason accordingly? The reason accordingly is at a very young age, they will find themselves boring, okay? Children tend to to get bored whenever they are enrolled in English school. At the end of the day, they will not master the word English. They will not master English. Okay, they can speak English, but the real thought of Loving English is not in their heart. They're, they found this so bo bored and at the same time, they want to get rid of that subject. Mer Somehow, it, it has a point, okay? So, accordingly, the best person who could teach the, our kid to be good in English is we parents or we, I, I am the mother, you the mother, okay? So, the best person that could teach our kid to be good in English is we parents, okay? We mother, okay? Accordingly, kids will learn how to 
kids will love to learn English because they love us. Whatever you said to them, they will um, embrace it and they will learn from it because we are uh, we are their mother. Okay, the children love us, and because our kids also want to please us, please us, they will do such thing that it will conform to what we want them to do. Okay. Mother is the best teacher accordingly. Even if the grammar is not perfect, it doesn't matter. So how? How? How we mother parents can teach our kids to be good in English accordingly? At least per day, we should have one to two hours English lesson, English class per day inside the house, okay? One to two hours per day inside the house. We will be sharing them stories in English, okay? We will talk them in English. Okay, this is a. I am also, uh, the I am also educated of what I'm saying, okay? Because I'm not really good in. I'm not. My kid is not yet very much good in English, but she she already know what is English all about, and she can now comprehend what 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 am I talking to her whenever I speak in her in English. She will reply to me in Tagalog, but her answer is correct to what I'm asking her in English, okay? So, number one, accordingly, have an English class with our kid one to two hours per day. Don't use books. Don't use worksheets, okay? What is needed is TPR, okay? What is TPR? TPR is accordingly total physical response, okay? You, me, we will be using an actions for them to easily understand what we're doing. For example, okay, accordingly, we should make things short, okay? Doing nothing makes it, okay? Example is stand up. Please stand up. When we say, when we told them to, when we tell them to please stand up, we will demonstrate them how, okay? Please stand up. We will be rising also, okay? Please sit down, okay? They will lower, okay? They will lower, sit down, okay? Show them and they will imitate, okay? Sit down accordingly, slowly. How to teach slowly? Sit down slowly. Do it slowly, mother. We will be doing it slowly, okay? Stand up quickly. Stand up quickly, okay? We will be moving quick, okay? So they, were, they are able to understand what is slow, what is quick, okay? So from our action, our kids are learning from us, okay? Accordingly, make it fun like a game. Make it enjoyable, okay? In my case, I, I, I have made it. That is why my daughter already learned about English. She is not very much confident to speak in English, but she is able to understand what is English all about. When I told her, what is your name? Naria Sharma, how old are you? Five. When you grow up, what do you want to be? I like to become a doctor. I want to become an astronaut. <laughs> okay? So, from our... Sometimes she replied in Tagalog as I said a while ago, okay? Because my daughter learned from me because most of the time I'm speaking to her in English. Okay? And apart from that, I'm really an English-speaking person. <laughs> that is why she can imitate what I'm talking. For example, I'm blogging. Hello, guys. Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. And one time I saw her speak in English, in English at the corner of the house. And see what, what we're doing. Our kids are imitating, okay? And you say, please pick that up, okay? You you show her the, the, gar, the, the, the clutter, okay? Please pick that up. And then she will pick it. And then, please throw it in the garbage. Garbage bin. And then, okay, she abide, okay? So see, at a very young, young age, our ki kid is learning from us already. Also, in their young age, as early as 2 years old, 3 years old, we show that, we, we share, we, we talk them already what is color blue, color red, color pink, color orange, okay? So in that thing, when they are already familiar with that color, for example, I go into the CR and I left my orange towel in the bedroom. So I ad advise her, Shasha, can you please 
uh, get the orange towel in the bedroom because I left that. And then what she will be doing? Okay, Nana, I will be getting that orange towel. See, she understands already. She know what the color of the towel. And then she will pick it and bring it for me. So you see? See how magical teaching our kids. Okay. <laughs> At least if your kid is talking in Tagalog, it doesn't matter. Just share with her story all in English. Don't worry about the grammar accordingly. It doesn't matter. What is important is we're trying to build them uh, <clears throat> a sense of learning uh, as far as English is concerned, okay? So they're picking up words that could be added into their word bank in the mind, okay? For example... They have two dolls, okay. Um, the two dolls are friends, and they okay. Let's walk all together. Let's walk together. They're holding ha their hands, okay. We will go to a party, and then we will wear shoes for some what things like that, okay. The kids are learning useful English accordingly, according to that professor. Accordingly, kids only need simple English. They don't need to understand yet democracy. <laughs> it's not. It should not be taught them because it's really hard for them to digest, okay? So what the kids need to learn in the very young age is eat, talk, walk, drink, jump, listen, speak, okay? Action words, simple action words. And then you can, we can teach them as far as action, our involvement we're acting we're like an artist in our own stage okay so the kids are learning from us always narrate a story <clears throat> okay when we keep on narrating stories for example during bedtime we're sharing a beautiful story to the kid then we will check if our kid is listening okay to check if we our kids had listened what we need to do is to ask them okay ask them in english okay and then our kids will learn to reply us even though in tagalog but it means that they understand what we had talked a while ago okay accordingly teaching kids in english is not one click okay my kid right now is very much in comprehending english because i started teaching her at a very young age because as I mentioned earlier a while ago, I am an English speaking person. Okay? While talking to her. Because I want to teach her. That is one of the role of mother to teach our kid. Okay? It will take months to let the kid master English. Okay? They will not <clears throat> learn it immediately. But from day to day basis, we're talking to them in English and they can learn from it. Okay? Accordingly, uh, when we are, do not stress the kid, okay? Well, teaching do not stress them. Do not let the kids accordingly feel that they are in school, okay? So, the strategy accordingly to teach our kid and things is all in the manner of play, okay? Because e school is a stressful thing for kids, okay? I don't know to other kids, but for my bully, uh, to become too strict to her as far as schooling is concerned, she will cry, Mama, I'm tired already. I want to rest. Okay, so see, the kids learning span according, and I have talked to our school principal, and the uh, teacher Raquel said, the span of the interest of the kids to learn and to sit is only 15 minutes after that. They would, would they would like to play again so i learned from it so we should not force our kids to master things okay because they are children they still had the enthusiasm to play their heart is all about play their mind is all about play so we will be jiving to what they're wanting okay all about play okay so <clears throat> Don't use textbook, huh? It's it will they will find it boring. Focus on real words, things that they can relate with easily. Okay. When they grow up, they will find English interested. Okay. 
to, to share with you a bit of story. When when I am just a kid, I do not know how to speak English. Even if I am in college, it's very hard for me to, to speak in English. I remember one time I walk I I work in a restaurant and most of our clients are English speaking, okay? And one time a foreigner had told me I want to order this and during that time I am still shy, I'm not yet confident in speaking English. So the this the 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 <clears throat> The foreigner had asked, what is this? When I order this, can I have it all? <laughs> and and what what I what I said is, no, it is bulag bulag, sir. <laughs> that is one of the very comical thing that I ever learned in my life. What is bulag bulag? <laughs> and and the foreigner is, is laughing towards me. I learned from you, okay? Bulag bulag means that they are separated. Yeah, that's what I'm talking, okay? So it means a la carte. Uh, during that time, she, because we are, because I, I think I am just 17 years old during that time. <laughs> I tried hard to speak in foreigner, but um, since I cannot pick all the words yet, so I talked to the foreigner in my own native language. No, sir, that is bulag bulag. For in fact, and for that, that foreigner learned from me, okay? So we do not need to master all things. You just need to learn how to, okay? When I graduated in college, I'm not a person who can speak in English straight, okay? But the real story is, when I grew up, I saw my father keep on reading and reading and reading books. And my father, when he kept on speaking of me during that time, he is also an English-speaking person, okay? My dad is a man who is always fond of reading books then. Then what he did whenever we were talking, we're talking in front of the table, we're having our coffee, then my, my dad is talking to me in English, okay? So from that, somehow I always pick things from him. He's a very good person, he can speak in English fluently whenever we talk, okay? But he's a very simple person, okay? So, what is the point? <laughs> We parents sometimes never knew that our kids are learning. One time, I, that is amazed when I told him that, yeah, I'm the one who's already writing in our office. My boss is, my boss is obliging me to write, to write technical letters as far as construction, cons, construction is concerned. He's allowing me to send it. To the, my, my dad is, because during that time, you know, that I'm just as a student, could not even write, okay? But the story behind is, when I am already working, what I did is I keep on buying and buying business books. And business books are mostly English, okay? So I learned from that. That is why. <laughs> so see, we unexpectedly learn things. And reading books is one of the best things that we could help that can help us parents to be good in English so that we can also teach our kids to become knowledgeable as far as English is concerned. So I will cut the story here and thank you for watching. I hope you would love to watch and like this video. Thank you for watching guys and I hope you would love to subscribe so so you can still watch another video as far as child rearing, child parenting culinary, mother talk, fitness, health, and wellness, okay? Thank you for watching. This is your friend, Perleta Hobe. There's a rainbow always after the rain. Take a little time, baby. See the butterfly colors. Listen to the birds that sing for me and you. Can you feel me? There's a 